In this lesson, we're going to continue to work on our funky groove project and refine it and add more loops and develop the sound. Make sure you've got your funky groove project open and press play from start. We're going to listen to the sound a little bit here. And I'm going to maximize my media manager space and continue looking for different sounds. Right now, my hip hop rap genre is checked. So I'm just going to look for different things, hear what they sound like. I've already got a percussion line, a bass line, a keyboard line. Just looking for other things. Jangling glass. A lot of times the title of a clip will tell you kind of what it is. I like those bells. Let's add that as an effect. And keep looking. Now I'm going to uncheck hip hop and rap. We're going to go look for a guitar sound. Go up and check your guitar when you find it. There we go. Now these search results are listed alphabetically. You can also sort them according to beat count, tempo, original tempo, root note, and so forth. I'm going to look for a couple of different guitars. Something kind of there we go. Funky Wah Guitar. That's really cool. I'm going to add that up at the top. Now I kind of want something a little jarring. Let's look for something here. Hard Rock Guitar. I don't like that. But I like that. Now one more thing and we'll be ready to kind of manipulate the sound. I'm going to look for percussion. But I'm going to dig down here and look at actually tambourine so I can uncheck percussion. Just want a tambourine sound. Let's check a few out. If you can't hear them, stop your playback. Come down and select them in the search results window. I like the half moon brass. All right, now I'm going to maximize space I have to work with up here, and we're going to refine and develop this, okay? That means basically a beginning, thinking of a theme, and how to transition to things. So I'm going to expand my loop section here, and just kind of think about it. I like building sound, so I'm going to drag my main loops over a little bit, and I'm going to maybe start with the tambourine, I kind of like to work from the top down, so I'm going to drag my tambourine sound to the top. I'm going to drag the funky wah guitar up a little bit, and then the bells. Now I'm going to drag my hard rock guitar out of the loop, so I'm not going to jar myself too much. So let's press play. I like that. Okay, got the tambourine going, got the funky wah guitar going. And now the little bells. Okay, now I could probably begin something there a little earlier, so let's try that. Yeah, I like that, although we might need to turn this up a little bit. Let's try zero. See how that works. You can hear it a lot better. All right. Now, I think I'm going to expand my loop just a little bit more and try to work in this hard rock guitar. I like a little bit of dissonance in my songs, you know, the contrast between the funky, cool sounding and this hard rock guitar. I think it goes pretty well. So let's find out what we can use from our main loop that'll go with that hard rock guitar. Probably, let's drag the tambourine over. Let's drag the bug report. Okay, I'm going to loop just this section now. 
we'll just experiment a little bit. Got the bass, got some drum here, and the hard rock guitar. Alright, now I think I'm ready to add cymbal, or the little bells here. Let's add them there, and then loop back to the beginning. Alright, I'm kind of dancing, just sitting here. Okay, we're about ready to wrap this lesson up. I think we've developed this pretty well. We've started out with a basic group of loops. We've added some effects. So we've got tambourine and some funky wah guitar. The bells. And here's our main sound right here. Just this kind of feel to it. It's kind of mellow. It's kind of groovy. It's kind of funky. It's just, it's cool. It's different and it's cool. Now, we're going to rock that with some hard rock guitar. Okay. And then we're going to sim uh, use the bells here to transition back to the beginning. Okay. I will see you in the next lesson where we're going to refine this even further and finish it off.